If we require a 10% real return and we expect inflation to be 8%, what is the nominal rate? And here to answer this question, we use the Fisher effect, which says that 1 plus big R equals to 1 plus small r times 1 plus h. And here you have to be uh, clear about what each variable is. So big R is the nominal rate of return or the nominal interest rate. And this is what we are looking for um, in this, um, in this uh, question. Small r is the real uh, interest or the real return and h is the inflation. So here we can just rearrange the uh, formula and uh, we are able to answer uh, the question about uh, what is the nominal rate. So the nominal rate here is big R and it equals to 1 plus small r times 1 plus h minus 1. I just took this one and moved it to the other side. This means that uh, 1, 1 plus uh, the real rate which is 0 0.1 10% or 0 0.1 so 1 plus r is uh, or 1 plus small r is 1 plus 0 0.1 times 1 plus the inflation inflation is 8% or 0 0.08 minus 1 the whole thing minus 1 if you were to calculate this uh, you're going to have a return of 18.8% uh, you can also uh, get uh, the approximation so the approximation uh, equation says that uh, nominal rate equals to uh, real rate plus inflation. Okay, and the real rate in this case that is 10% or 0 0.1 plus the uh, inflation uh, of 8% uh, or 0 0.08, which gives us a nominal return of uh, about 0 0.18 or 18%. You just take 0 0.18 and you multiply by 100.